In last week's video, we focused on the Mejor V4, connecting it to the Duet 6HC controller and testing it out. Now, this is a nice extruder, especially for smaller printers. It weighs a little over a pound and a half and can extrude up to 170 grams per hour. Now, this is one of the key constraints. People ask me this all the time. How, how much can this extrude? And this is as much as I can get out of it using... LX175 PLA at 220C. Here's a comparable printer, similar size and uh, similar number. Now if you want to print something big, you can use the Stallion extruder. It'll output over 10x that amount of the Mayhor. And uh, but it, you have to take into account it, it weighs over 10x as much, so you need a much beefier system. All right, let's get right to it here and show how we got to this. We're going to we're going to compare a few different extruders. This is the Mehor V4. This is the extruder on the PyoCreate G5. They're very similar by the way. And then this is a much larger extruder created in-house. This is called the Stallion. This has a NEMA 34 option or a NEMA 23 option and these two each have a geared NEMA 17 motor. The test material of choice is LX175 PLA and we're going to see how much we're going to try to max out each extruder to see how much it can extrude per unit time. All right, here are the numbers. I ran this in the three different modes, slow, normal, and fast, and I uh, used this little scale here to make the measurements. And uh, the bottom line is this fast mode here, it's just too fast. It's not going to run with this material. I go like this, feed, and you're going to hear it. It's gonna, you hear the pumps crunching, and it, those are stalls, extruder stalls. So this isn't is not consistent. At most, I would go with this normal mode, and if that stalls, then go to slow. So normal yields 1.3 grams in 25 seconds. That works out to be 3.2 grams per minute, and then this is slow, 1.88 grams per minute. And you can convert this to pounds per hour, or grams per hour, whatever you want to do. All right, here are the results. Um, I wouldn't run this thing in the fast mode because the extruder uh, doesn't spin due to the stepper um, not having enough torque. But anyway, um, the maximum grams per hour, this produces about 192 grams per hour. So that's about, that's a, that's a key constraint of this machine. And it's a question people ask about often. This is with LX175 PLA at 220C. Um, so I would say that's the maximum. You can convert this to volume in regard to PLA because the PLA has a density. But um, yeah, 192 grams per hour uh, is the maximum. Here we go. The Stallion extruder is heating up. This is the version with the NEMA 34 motor. And we're running our control system at 48 volts with a duet. And we're heating up. We're going to 220C with the same material, LX175 PLA. This machine here, this is a, this extruder is a real beast. Um, it can do injection molding here. And uh, this can also be hooked up for 3D printing. So for injection molding, this gets a hopper and an adapter and the material goes like this and then for 3d printing here is the printing hopper and this whole thing gets turned vertically and then print you can print with it so I'll be showing you a little bit of this kind of stuff in this video and hopefully some more videos to come this is a special piece of tooling I've developed for these molds 
what we're going to do is take this, this goes up here into this collar like so, and then the molds get clamped in and uh, we injection mold with it. Alright, everything is clamped in place here. Now we're going to injection mold. We're going to do the 45 p RPM setting here. Alright, let's see how it turned out. This is fresh out of the uh, mold here. I, I haven't let it cool, but usually you want to let it cool for a little bit. There it is. A little bit of flashing, so it's a little bit over-injected, but uh, this is easy to clip off. The amount injected is adjustable via the macros, um, but this macro, you know, this is just set to this amount right now. To get a rough estimate of pressure, put this M5 bolt down in here, and then I have the scale and yoke set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press onto the scale at 45 RPM and see how much pressure it generates. Now, a lot of fluid will be lost around the edge, but I don't really have a plunger that fits in here any better. Oh man, it pushed, holy, pushed too much on there. Well, this thing generated a much higher force and pressure than I expected. Um, we're running the NEMA 34 motor here, stepper motor at 48 volts, 4 amps, and it actually maxed out the scale. I did not expect that. This goes up to 25 pounds. So I had to use the scale I stand on, and it went all the way up to 50 pounds of force, and that's just on something, you know, 5 millimeter bolt. And uh, all in all, it generated at least 6 1600 PSI. Note that some of the material escaped around the sides of the bolt. So I was really impressed by that. I did not think I didn't think it would be anywhere near that to be honest. So here's a result of one of the horses. Note it's not perfectly clear. It takes a lot of material to I mean it's clear toward the top here, but you know there's residue left in there from previous injection molds. And uh, here's a whole pile of material that's been purged. It's about, it's a little over 8 ounces here. And um, so that's something like 400 rotations, approximately. This horse is a quarter inch thick. And maybe it's a little bit too thick in general for injection molding. You can go online and find all kinds of charts. And uh, the thick stuff here, you can see it didn't quite, quite fill in some spots. Here's a spot where it didn't quite fill in these little corner areas. Um, it's very strong, though. Um, one day, maybe in a couple months, I'd like to do a video comparing injection molded uh, strength versus 3D printed strength. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of the extrusion constraints of these various extruders. Tune in next week and we're going to talk about material constraints.